Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yes, I got a voicemail to call this number or something with my Social Security. Okay. First yes. of all, you are speaking to Officer Clara Hobson. So let me go ahead and plot your file. Can you verify your name, your first and your last name? Yes, first name is Kenny, K-E-N-N-Y. Last name, Lichter, L-I-C-H-T-E-R. And what is the zip code number? Zip is uh, 13118. Okay. And last of all, as it is all about your social security number, I just want to make sure one more time, can you just reconfirm the last four of your social? 1463. You say 1463, right? Yes. Okay. So just stay on the line for a second. Let me go ahead and plug the file, and I will let you know. Just stay connected with me. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can. All right. So let me tell you, my name is Officer Clara Hobson, and as I have mentioned, this call is all about your social security number. And we are trying to let you know that there are some legal enforcement action file on your social security number. And well, we have mean? received an order. To what does that mean? I'm I, sorry, I, sir. What does that mean? Okay. Let me tell you, sir. First of all, I will explain it to you step by step, and you will come to know. You will understand it. Just listen to me, because this is a live recorded line, and this is the ongoing investigation call. I will explain it to you. Just listen to me, all right? Okay. Okay. What I mean is, we have received an order to suspend your social because your social security number has been found suspicious for criminal activities. That's what I don't your know what it means. Suspicious for okay, criminal activities. Talk. I don't know what that means. All right. According to the report we have received from the investigation team, and after we take your past record, we believe and I personally believe that this is the case of identity theft. When someone is misusing your social security number in the state of Texas for committing criminal activities. What? Someone is misusing your social. So do you remember, have you ever shared your identity with anyone else? Or have you ever lost your wallet containing your ID? No, no, I've never lost that. Because right now, your social security number is already compromised into the hands of the imposter. Someone is behind your social. And let me tell you, this okay. investigation has started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. And the car contains some blood and drugs residue inside it. Uh -oh. And after the investigation... We found that the car was rented under your name and under your personal. Oh, I didn't rent it, ma'am. I didn't rent no car. Okay, I'm not. I'm not saying that you have rented a car or you do. No, I've got my. I've got my. Own, I've got my own car. I understand, sir. I understand. But yeah. what I mean is, the imposter they have rented a car by using a social security number. That's what I mean. Oh, okay. And there were. Two address linked with the title of the vehicle. The address in the city of Rowlett was raided by the U.S. Marshal. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. Huh. But we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drugs and some documentation from financial institutes like Chess Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, and many more. And not only that, we have also found a number of banking account, a number of different banking account and a credit account, which is linked with your social. And all this entire paperwork has a name on it. And thousands uh -oh. of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally. Wow. So right now, for this reason, mm -hmm. we as a social okay. security administration of the state of Texas has filed case against you for drug trafficking drug tra as me well as for money laundering. Against me for because drug trafficking? That's 
That's correct. Ma'am, I'm, right I'm 70 years old. I don't do drug trafficking. I understand, sir. Listen to me first. I understand I never say that you do drugs or you do all these fraudulent activities, but the problem is we don't have any concealed evidence to prove that we are unable to find out the real culprit right now. So you're going to so blame me? So why we're contacting you. Sir, let me explain it to you. Let me complete it first, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I'm just the nervous. I'm nervous here, ma'am. The reason why we're contacting you is that, let me tell you, we are going for what for the investigation. And what we need to do is we are going to suspend your social security number because at the moment you and the real culprit both are using the same social. And secondly, well, uh, why don't you suspend his? Uh, what are you suspending mine for? Because you have jeopardized your social security number. I didn't do anything with it. You, I'm sorry, you can do it in anything what you mean? I didn't do anything what with do my, mean? I mean, I didn't do anything with it, they but, did. But you have but, oh already compromised boy. into the wrong hand. Some I didn't give it to nobody. Themselves. They must have guessed it. I don't know how they got it. Sure, I'm telling you the truth, okay? You have to file the law. So if you can dispute it inside the courthouse, and if you are not willing to comply with the federal government, then you can simply disconnect the line and go for it, okay? Well, I'll, I'm not I'll comply speak. with the government. I, I always comply with the government. But you, but you keep on interrupting me while I'm talking. Well, I'm nervous I told you that. Because, first of all, try okay. to understand. Okay. Listen to me first and try to understand. I'm, I'm trying. You are always talking in between. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. And as you know that, we have found a number of sub-banking account and a credit account. Yeah, you told we me that. We are unable to differentiate it. Which account belongs to you and which account legal illegally belongs to the criminal? So we are here obligated to go ahead and shut down every banking account Did and every credit account. I can just tell you what mine is. With the can I just tell you what mine is and then you can cut down the other ones? What do you mean by mine is? My, what my account. My, what? What, how many, how? How many banking accounts do you have? Can you just tell me then? One. And what about any credit account? Yeah, I got a credit card with the same place. I got one credit card and one bank I use. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard to leave mine alone and shut down the other ones. I don't know what you got to shut mine down for. I, I can't go without money. Because this is a case of money laundering and drug trafficking. So let me tell you, if you have any banking account right now, out of this, let me tell you, the okay. only you can do is, while you are on the line with us, uh -huh. you can still talk to the DEA, Drug Enforcement Administration, because we are going forward for the investigation. If the U.S. Treasury Department found any friend in its up the account, huh? you will what? lose it permanently, whatever you have in your account, maybe oh. in your credit account. So in order not to lose, or if you have any valuable balance, if you want to protect it, you can still talk to the DEA. He will let you know. I hope you understand it, right? No, I don't. Why am I talking to the DEA? I don't understand it at all. Your Social Security, okay, so and it's my Social Security, you're going to, you want to take away from me. Why would I talk to the DEA about my Social Security? Because, sir, let me tell you, you and I, we are talking about your social security number. Correct. And I have already provided you all the information. And apart from this, if you want to save your money, because this is a case of money laundering and drug trafficking, as I have mentioned, but if you I have didn't any do banking it. account with a valuable balance, oh boy. do I say you did it, sir? No. Do I say you did it? Well, you're saying you're going to cancel my Social Security, so I guess you are saying I did it. Sir, you keep on asking me the co same question again and again, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I told you that. I, I need my Social Security. I'm uh, 70 years old, ma'am. Sir, once you suspend your existing number, you will get a new one. 
Oh, well, you didn't Try tell me that. Insane. Well, you didn't tell me that. How can I understand if you don't tell me? I have already explained it to you, sir. I'm not a machine, okay? You're what? You are talking to a human. I'm talking to a human. I know that. You ask me. You are. You keep on asking me the same question and over and over again. But I so never get the answer I want. Do you just, do mm. you just, so, do you want me to for what the line for what all the files that you are treasury department? I I didn't hear you. I don't know what you said. Because once I forward the file to the U.S. Treasury Department, they will go ahead with legal action against this case. They will frozen everything, whatever you I have in your account or whatever you have linked with the social, everything will be loose. I don't do want to lose do everything. Do no, want don't, please don't yell at me. Sorry. I am not yelling at you. I'm not yelling at you. Okay. So what do you want me to do? I don't know. So, can you just tell me, you, you have one banking account, right? Yes. Is there any available balance? Is there any available balance right now? Yes, there is a balance, yes. And what about in your credit account? Credit, credit account? I don't have a credit account. Yeah. Your credit card. I, I'm talking all about your credit card. You say that you have a credit card, right? Yeah, but... Not at that... No, it's not a debit card. It's a credit card. It's a Visa. Yeah. Debit card and a credit card are different, okay? Yeah, I know. I know that. Okay, so let me just do one thing. Stay on the line. You talk to the TEA, all right? Okay. okay. I don't know. Hello? Yes, hello. Yes, thank you for holding the line. Yes, sir. Thank you for holding the line. This line has been connected to the Drug Enforcement Administration. My name is Samuel Martin with employee base number 46027. How are you doing today, sir? Okay, but that lady said they're going to freeze my bank and take my Social Security away. Yes, sir, exactly. Because right now, under your Social Security number, 20 bank account has been illegally opened. Under your Social thousands of dollars has been wired locally and internationally from those accounts. So it seems suspicious to the U.S. Federal Treasury Department, and they have decided to go ahead and suspend your social security number, which means once your social security number will be suspended, whatever the asset you have linked to your socials, for example, your bank account, and the money which you have under your name in your bank account and your property will be freezed by the U.S. Federal Treasury well, Department. Well, how can they because freeze right it? Now, I don't understand, sir. Because right now, sir, your name is under the criminal list, there is a red flag under your social security well, I don't company. want a red flag. That's the reason. Mm. So if you don't want your money to be taken away by the U U.S. Federal Treasury Department, if you don't want them to seize your finance, then what do you have to do? You have to go ahead and safeguard your asset. For example, your bank account and the money which you have under your name in your bank account, you have to safeguard the money. That means you have to safely secure the money with the help of the electronic federal safety locker facility uh, to, with the help of who I, I, i'm sorry i didn't get there with the help of who sir uh, right now the u.s federal treasury department they are allowing u.s safety locker facility safety with locker facility okay i, I don't so know what that locker, is not a maker i don't know what that it's is not a maker it's a it's it, a lo locker don't a locker while i'm talking please I, well, I'm asking you know what you're saying, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, I understand each and everything. You don't need to get confused. I'll be guiding you step by step. And once you safeguard your asset, then we'll be able to go ahead and differentiate your bank account. Because right now, it's unable for us to go ahead and differentiate your bank account. Because well, if bank I tell you my bank, open. if I give you my bank account number, won't that differentiate it from the other ones? No, sir. We never... No take any information from anyone over the phone because we are how do you ever solve a case if you don't do get information i don't understand so whatever you have to do you have to do it by your own i'll be guiding you step by step you don't need to worry about that okay. but you have to stay connected with me we're in a recorded line so at first i would like to ask you some few questions you need to answer best of your knowledge can you tell me like how many banking account you have opened under your social security number well, two accounts, but they're at the same bank. 
two account, one from the, uh, one savings account and one checking account, right? That's correct. And what is the name of the bank you deal with, sir? TD Bank. TD Bank. Yes. And uh, how much money you have in your savings account and what is the balance you have in your checking account? Savings is probably 1500 And what about the checking? Probably about 500 Okay, sir. So I got you. The money which you have right now at this moment, sir, that money has been counted as the black money by the U.S. Federal Black State money? Department. What's black money mean? Yes. Yeah, so What's that mean? Because, sir, it... So it's a case of drug trafficking under your social security. Yeah, but I don't know what I black money is. I don't know what black money is. That's, that's the reason. I will tell you each and everything step by step. You don't need to worry about that, okay? You can't keep the money in your account because once your account will be freezed by the U.S. Federal Treasury Department, then whatever the money you have under your name, it's going to be freezed by them, and you can't access your bank account anymore once we go ahead and suspend your social security number. So... If you don't want your money to be taken away by the U.S. Federal Treasury Department, because, sir, in order to narrow down the real culprit, we are not saying that you are the one who is involved in this. Well, then why are you taking my money? Right now, the, the, if I'm not the culprit, I'm then why are you taking money. my money, sir? Sir, I'm, sir, I'm, sir, of course you can do that. But you are not understanding the situation right now at this moment. You are just confused. Well, so yeah, I'm I am. Clear out, okay? I'm yeah, 70 I'm years I'm old. Gonna, I don't you know, know what's going on here with this drug trafficking and money laundering stuff. Yes, sir. I do understand your part. Just give me more. So you have to go ahead and safeguard the money under your name, sir. Of course, your that's your hard-earned money. Your money will yeah, be... Yeah, it is hard-earned. Okay. I'm yes. not telling you to give out the money, sir. Because right now... Listen to me very carefully, sir. Okay. Please. Right now... Okay. Your name is under the criminal list. There is a warrant out under your name. So a warrant? Nobody a, ever told me yes, that. Case, Nobody ever said so that. Let me complete, please. A warrant? Yeah, let me complete, please. Oh, um, okay. Okay, there is a warrant out under your name right now at this moment. Because, sir, right now there is a case filed by the U.S. Federal Treasury Department and by the Social Security Administration under your Social Security number. Your Social Security number has been compromised. Okay, and we but don't know who is the imposter. Who is you? Well, neither do I. It's a case of identity. So it's a case of identity theft under your name and under your socials right now at this moment. So there is an allegation filed by the U.S. Federal Treasury Department as well as by the Social Security Administration under your social security number. So once your socials will be suspended, then whatever the money you have under your name in your bank account and your property might be freezed by the U.S. Federal Treasury Department. Mm -hmm. We don't. Go we don't want that. Go on, Tipsy. We don't want that, sir. Go on, Tipsy. Go on. Go on. Cat. Okay. 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 So what do you have to do, sir? You have to go ahead and safeguard your money. Okay. Whatever Should I go get it? Money. Should I go get it out and bring it home then, huh? No, sir. You can't keep that money in form of cash. You have to go ahead and verify that amount. That means you have to convert the fund. You have to safely secure the fund. Uh, under the surveillance of the U.S. Federal Treasury Department. And after that, we'll be able to go ahead and differentiate your bank account. And we're going to schedule an appointment at your mailing address. Once you link, like once my officer comes down to your doorstep, you will be allowed a new social security number, sir. Okay? And once you link your banking details to the new social security number, whatever the money you have safely secure under your name, that money is going to reimburse back directly to your bank account, so you are not going to lose a single dollar. But right now, there is some terms and conditions of the federal government, which you have to be follow very strictly, sir. What oh. you have to do, you have to oh. go ahead and convert your ha hard earned money. My hard earned money. Electronic federal, yeah. You have to go ahead and convert the money to an electronic safety voucher, okay? It's a safety I, thought it voucher a I thought it was a locker. I thought it was a locker. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's some kind of a locker, sir. Okay, it's some kind of a locker, but this locker facility mostly comes in an electronic voucher which is appreciated with the big companies like Apple, Target, Google, Apple? and like Google. Wal yeah, Walmart, Walmart, Target. These are the big companies. I believe that you heard about those companies. So well, yeah, I heard about them the companies, but what have they got to do with my social security? No, no sir. They, they, 
they got nothing to do about with your social security but the money which you have at this moment in your bank account you have to go ahead and convert that money to a safety voucher uh, like this safety I'm voucher mostly I'm comes in an uh, electronic card like a target so you have to go ahead and convert the fund that means you have to cash out the money from the bank and you have to put the money on the electronic voucher like a target card you have to put the money on the card and you have to go ahead and uh, verify that amount to the US Federal Treasury Department once you verify that amount then we'll be able to go ahead and differentiate your bank account and wow. your money will be safely okay. secure by the US Federal Treasury Department okay. Okay. you have to keep the card okay. you have to keep the card and the legal yes. receipt with you my officer will be at your door oh. in the next next okay. one hour or, or hour. next two hour two and hours. he's gonna come down okay yeah, yeah he's gonna come down and yeah. he's you have to hand over the card to my officer once you hand over the card to my officer once you yeah. uh, like share the banking details that is like share yeah. your okay. banking details mm -hmm. to my officer okay your officer once he scan the card and once yeah once he scan the card and once he link your bank account to the new social security number whatever the money you have saved got what's my new number to gonna be card. do you know what my new number is gonna be Sir, of course my officer is going to let you know each and everything. Right now we are not authorized to give you out the information because oh. you have to complete the procedure of the federal oh, court. Oh, I In see. that case, you have to stay connected with oh, me, sir. Okay, okay. Can okay. you tell me, do you drive? Do you, do you drive? Do you have a car? Not very good, but I do. Okay, you have a car, you can drive. So do you know any convenience store nearby your location like a Target? Any Target store? Yeah, there's a Target over and uh, Melrose Avenue yeah yeah then I do understand that so what you have to do sir you have to keep the line open the line on which we are talking right now at this moment this is your cell phone right sir yeah okay then what is yeah, that I had to get rid of my home How phone much? because it cost too much so I had to pick one or the other and I thought Tell the cell phone would be better because then I could take it with me and the home okay. phone was like twenty nine ninety nine a month, and then, and then they wanted taxes, and I don't know. Okay, then what I want you to do, sir, yes. I want you to keep this matter confidentially with you because confidentially with me, we can directly. Yes, because you are not authorized to share this information to anyone, even not to the bank people. At first, what you have to do, sir, you have to drive to the nearest branch of your bank to the nearest location. So that you would be able to go ahead and cash out the fifteen hundred dollars, whatever you have in your savings account. Once you cash out the money, then you have to go to the bank. Sorry, you have to go to the Target store and you have to go ahead and convert the fund to a Target gift card. With a Target gift card, you have to go ahead and save God your hard-earned money, whatever is left in your bank account. How come I just That's don't bring the money home? What do I? Why do I need a gift card for? Because, because sir, if you are going to keep that money in form of cash with you. Then once the investigation team is going to approach down to your doorstep, they are going to check each and everything, sir. If they found more than $100, then your money will be taken away by them. Are you going to rob me? Right now you are facing, and you might be sent to the jail for the next nine years, sir, if you are what? going to lose the case in the courthouse. I don't I I'll don't be want 79 that. when I get out. Yeah. I'm just trying to help you out. That's the reason you have okay, to... Okay, thanks for helping me. Okay. With you. Yeah, okay, you have to keep ahead. this matter confidentially with you. I okay, will. You are not okay. going to share Suck this information one. to anyone. Yeah, and you mm -hmm. have to go to the bank. You have to keep the line open. We are in a federally, federally three-way conference call. Okay, this conversation on three way? Uh, I mean this line on which, we, yeah, it's a three-way. That's from. Uh, I remember the seventies once I had three-way. Yeah. Man, yeah. Back in the seventies. Yeah, three-way conference yeah. call. Yeah, it's a three-way conference call yeah. with the U.S. Federal Treasury Department as Except well. Except I got a backwards. Well there is, there is a, a, a two guys. I don't know what happened. Yes, that's the reason. You yes. are not authorized to disconnect the line. If I don't yeah, go that way. To disconnect no. the line. Yeah, in case if the line get disconnected due to some technical issue, then okay. I'm going to give you a call back from my direct line number. You don't have to worry about that, but you have to make sure from your end that you are not going to disconnect okay. the line. Okay. Right, okay. I got it. So, okay. so what you have, what you have to do, you have five hundred dollars in your checking account. You have fifteen hundred dollars in your savings account, right? So Suck you what? have to cash out each. 
Yeah, you have to case out $1,900 from your bank account because you can't keep more than $100 in your I can have a hundred. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Good. You can have. I can have a hundred dollars of my hard-earned money, and then I give eighteen hundred to a scamming bastard like you, right? Is that how it works, scammer? Yeah. Exactly. You bench yeah, out. Exa yeah. Exactly. Right, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Okay. What do okay, you want me to do now? now? I want you to go to the bank. Stupid! I just said bank you were a scamming bastard. <laughs> what are you not listening to me at all? I listen to you, but I don't want eighteen hundred. I just want two hundred from you. Just go and get a gift card of uh, gift card. I, of I'll get you. A, I'll get you a gift card for uh, the Dalai uh, Lama Hapa Doobie. Okay, you scamming no. bastard. No, no, my matu. Hey, no, no, Ben showed you Ben Kalori, motherfucker. Let me teach you, motherfucker. It's Ben Kalori. Ben Kalori. Yeah. Did I say it right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, uh, uh, so how's, how's work you today going, day, scammer? How's work going today, scammer? Yeah, it's going awesome. Yeah, it's going awesome. Already we have crossed around like $18,000. Yeah, sure you did. Sure you did. Sure you did. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I, and I'm the fucking president, dumb you ass. asshole. Yeah. You scam yeah, bastard because, fucker. Yeah, because there are a lot of dumb ass motherfucker asshole in United States of You asshole. think so? You think okay. so? You must be yeah. making a fortune. Yeah, I think so. If anybody believes you're yeah. from fucking yeah. America, you can't even speak fucking English. Yeah, they believe. They believe me. Yeah, they, asshole, they believe me. Each there are a lot of they, I, I, in your country. They believe each yeah, and everything, there are a lot of right? in your country. They believe each yes, and everything, yes, right? You scamming everything. bastard. Yeah, they believe you, me. motherfucker. And yesterday, I, and yesterday I got two thousand dollars. Oh boy! Uh, yet like you. Oh that boy, you stole two thousand dollars, and you're proud of that, huh? You fuck stick. Right? You're proud. I can't hear you, stupid. Your three dollar headset's fucking up. I can't even hear you. Tell me that. It seems that it seems that you have been fucked up by someone. Already, you have been fucked up by someone like me. Yeah, sure, I have. So that'd be the day when, everything. when some moron like you can, me, like some moron you like you can take money from me. It seems that you have paid more than twelve twelve thousand dollars for this camera, right, sir? Yeah. Okay. Be with me. Come on. I'm just like your big brother. No, but I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to put you on YouTube, you scamming bastard. They're going to go for you. I don't, don't like give you. A about that motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about that. Do whatever you like to do. Do whatever I'm, you got to I'm do. I'm going to do it. What the fuck, I just you remember one thing. I'm your dad, okay? I just fuck your mother and you're in this wall. I just fuck your mom, you're in this wall, motherfucker. Can you guys think of anything else besides okay, fucking your family members? Fuck yourself, otherwise what do you guys do? Just fuck your each other over there all the time? The I mean, at your mailing address, you'll be thrown up. You never you'll even got my up, mailing address, you fucking idiot. Yes, motherfucker. I'm gonna put your whole entire family, motherfucker. I'm just gonna drop a bomb at your mailing address. Okay, let me get ready my drone. Right now, at this moment, I'm gonna set the target. And yeah. I'm going <laughs> to drop a bomb at your mailing address. Yeah, okay. you, will be, okay. you will be blown up, okay? Uh, you will be blown up now. Okay, okay. Why don't you go back to your other job, a sewer diver, huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean, what do I mean by that? You know what I mean by that. You used to be a fucking sewer diver. Now you're a we scammer. We are not able to take your call right now. Goodbye. <laughs> you fucker.